Hey everyone, Chris from Reverse Gaming. I just want to make a quick little intro before the video starts. This is the same type of video as last time where me and Drew ran around all the maps in a custom game and I was just trying to teach him camera locations and basic layout of the map. I know there were a lot of comments last time saying, hey, why didn't you teach him more? Why don't you give more information? This is just how me and Drew are going to run around the map and I'm going to give him a basic understanding of the map. This is not meant to be hugely detailed or a normal Siege School episode. This is just like a mini lesson. I know it's longer than other lessons, but obviously you're not learning as much from this. There will be one more episode like this coming out next Saturday, and then starting in February I'll be starting what I call the second semester of Siege School. So get ready for that. Anyways, enjoy the video. Is my math? Oh yeah, my math's way off. Okay, never mind. We'll also add Skyscraper to that. We'll do four and then three after. I still don't understand how I have a charm. You don't have a single charm? No, I have one. No. What do you mean? What do you not understand? I don't know why I have one. No, you probably just get them. Like, some of them are challenges, some of them you probably got on an alpha pack. That could be. I got, I remember I got a sweet camo in an alpha pack, but I don't remember for what gun. It's probably for someone I don't even own. Okay, so. Oh. Do you remember what our method is? Yeah, why can't I jump in Twitch drone? Uh, Twitch drone, just, like, that's just one of those things, you can't jump, but it also is, uh, silent. Uh, you know. Oh, you're in the other side of the map. Do you want me to give you the calls for the rooms as we go through again? Or um, I don't think that much. Over. Oh. I don't think that stuff matters as much to me. Okay. I wish you could jump instead of bolt. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And one sec, how many cameras are there? One, two, three, four. There's four. Inside. Alright. Um. Oh, we're not the main entrance, so there might not be one. Well, this is. Yeah. There's two technically main entrances. That one's called West Main, the other one's called, like, Fireplace Main, or just Main. Man, I hate this. Cause you like look at me and I just feel blind as hell. <laughs> In the last video, I was like constantly looking at the camera, just looking at you like back and forth. I know, I just... saw that when I watched your video. I was just like, ah, oh, this fucker. <laughs> okay. There you go. Do you have an ACOG on that? Yeah. Okay. Smart choice. I just to use your ACOG. Alright, how many are there? There's three left. Two left. So it's going out like to where I spawn. Yeah. It's here. a little closet entrance. I already looked in here, didn't I? No, that was the bar. You looked in the uh, fireplace hall, which is right next to it. No. speaker. <laughs> Don't those make noise though? Uh, normally yes, but whenever they do make noise, like you obviously hear the music, and then there's only one speaker that actually produces it. This is great room. Can you shoot the TV? Fuck yeah. Ooh, I actually okay, broke it. On. Yeah, so this is what people normally call fireplace hall, or fireplace man, I don't know. There's a million different names. Like this fireplace hallway? Yeah. I got that one, yeah. Cause that's the one I always see you snipe when you play this map. I feel like there's gonna be one like up in the rafters. No, God damn it, I'm back here. Uh, hmm. Oh, found it. Okay, that's number three. I'm sure, they just bring someone who has impacts or shotguns so I can show destruction, but we'll do that on the next map. Oh, right. Um, is it downstairs again? Alright, let's, let's take this there. There you gotcha. go. Gotcha. You passed that one like four times to follow me. <laughs> Did I actually? Yeah. Oh, God. So, two outside cameras. Main interest on the east side? Yeah. 
right here by the gazebo. It's kind of hard to see when you spawn because it's like white obviously blends in with the background. But there's one. And then all the way on the other side of the map. And the other camera is over here. Okay. I will actually show you a few callouts just because this map has a lot of... What did I say? Like very similar rooms. Um, down here, somewhere you didn't get to see too much. This is a large garage. Okay. Does that mean there's a smaller garage? Yes. So this is a large garage. Same. Wine cellar hall. Ooh. This is wine cellar. That's a closet in here. Oh, come on. Wine doesn't go away. And then this is, uh, people usually call it connector room between wine cellar, and then this is snowmobile slash small garage. Right, and this is where we breached. Yeah. Um, this is blue hall. A lot of people, when they're defending... Oh, fuck. Wait, what? How did I do that? You used your shock drone. How did, how did you, like, jump up to the roof? What do you mean? Like, uh, I don't know, sometimes you'll just have a drone and you'll, like, jump up to the roof and, like, shock someone from on the roof. Uh, you can't jump with the shock drone, so I don't know what you're talking about. No. Maybe it's not a shock drone. I don't know. Some drone. Oh, that's Echo you're thinking of. When his drone goes on the roof and then you disorient them. God, this is so hard to hit. Oh, you just suck. Haha. <laughs> Tell me I suck again. Oh, fuck. Okay. Over yes. here. This is Blue Hall. Um, the only two things we really need to know about this, a lot of people like to hide in here when they're defending. If you break those two cabinets, you can vault on this table and hide here. Okay. And then people would like... like yeah, you just fucking light them up. And then the other one is right here, behind this box. A lot of people like to lie down, and when someone pushes down the stairs, they can peek up and shoot. Or, if you lie down in my position, lean to the right side, you can see it through a little hole on the side. You see it? Oh, that's fucking sneaky. Yeah, it's a really dirty one. Um, and then the only things you need to know really are like, so when you're defending the basement, like you gotta get all the hatches, obviously. There's one inside here in the bar. Reinforcement. Yeah. And then there's this one over here in the fireplace hall. Oh, turn around. God, I'm fucking blind, man. And there's this hatch that goes into the connector room. Um, really the only other thing you need to know is this is called double door. So if you're defending the site like where I have the objective, people will say, like, oh, double door, someone's over here. And then, oh, over here. Follow me. One of the most popular places to hide is right here in trophy room. A lot of defenders will just hide here because you can't get shot from the window right there. And there's also ooh, there's also a drone hole down here that Boy. attackers can like lie down and shoot into. Oh right. So a lot of people will just hide right here, just waiting. So you you can destroy the floor, and then you can see him from below in the large garage. But okay. uh, obviously, like you need someone like Buck or something break up in the floor or Ash. Yeah, like this. to break it open enough for it to be useful. Yeah. That's about it. As is tradition. Sounds good, man. You're so gangster. I know, man. All like five foot eight of me. On a good day. You're five foot eight. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> five foot seven and a half. That half matters. Um, Cafe Dostoevsky. This is one of my least favorite ranked maps. Why? It's just, oh, uh, so many windows, <laughs> so many long hallways, it's just not that fun. There's basically almost nowhere to hide as a defender, I find. There's very few corners, and people know about them very well. Oh shit, I'm oh. like, above you. No, you're on the other side. You're running away from me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm above you. <laughs> It's because I'm my th yeah, yeah, let's not talk about it. Okay, there are one, two, three, four, four cameras. 
go. Dude, nice goggles. Thank you. I think that's a record for the fastest camping we've destroyed. I'm learning. Sort of. Man, they have so many, like, bars. This is apparently modeled after a real cafe in Russia. You can go there and visit. That's two. Really? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Naked people. The video's getting demonetized now. Oh, this... So this, cool. one sec, back up. I'll show you. This connects back to where we, like, where you entered the building from. But so yeah, that all goes in a loop together. So you've right. already discovered, you've already looked at the entire bottom floor. Oh my god, we're stuck inside one another. Hot. Ooh. Look at this. VIP. VIP section. It's like they knew I was coming. <laughs> Is this my turn? Yeah. Pick that ass up. Three. Out of four. How do we get up higher? There's uh, two staircases. I'll just let you explore, but first, this is a reading room. This is one of the objective sites. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay, I'll show you the rest of the map now. So, this is closet. Not that important. Oh, you're in dining room. <laughs> past you. Oh my god, this is like the Canadian standoff. We can't get past each other. Oh, sorry, you go first, bud. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just saying, get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> yeah. This is fireplace slash dining hall. This is train. Just go ahead and look at us. This is like the most popular objective for a uh, bomb. Or right, actually, this is for most popular for secure. Bomb is above. Which I'll show you in a second. These trains are indestructible, so you can't shoot through them. Light. And then the floor is completely destructible above us, so if people take up top, they can uh, oh, shoot down into here. Alright, this is mining room. The room right next door. This is? Yeah. Oh, you got put the artifacts in here. I don't know what the fuck this does. I'm assuming it mines somehow. Is this my break? Is it a, uh, it's like a... Like an oil thing? A, a bore. I, okay. I don't Maybe? know Maybe? Yeah. This is uh, red stairs. This goes down back to the kitchen Wait. slash bakery Wait. area. Is that because of the red? Yes. Good job. Oh my god, that's genius. And then... Goes all the way up to the top floor as well. This is the roof hatch. The only hatch on the roof. You can destroy it if you shoot it three times. Oh so shit. I'm when you're repelled on the Get some roof, staples up in this bitch. <laughs> when you're on the roof, a lot of people will usually break that and then drop down. Because up here, this is. Hmm? Oh, oh. oh, oh, that's not a drone. <laughs> that is a smoke. What was that? That was your smoke. This if is I a... had those all the time. Yeah. Oh, six is drone. Yeah. Uh, fuck, I don't want to be in you. Okay, so this room is called Cigar Lounge, but most people call it Piano because, you know, Piano. No. Uh, one of the big issues with this room... I don't know. One of the big issues with this room is that uh, these speakers produce music, but you can't destroy them, so it just always makes noise. Kind of annoying. Oh. This is Cigar Shop. So Cigar Shop, Cigar Lounge. Uh, this is Bar. Okay. If you're on the roof, you can jump in through the skylight. And you can also obviously look down into here. Um, That's badass. Okay, stand there. Like right here. I'll basically show you the entire length of where you can see from the skylight. So if you're looking in from the skylight, you can see all the way up to here, where I am. Oh shit. And all the way over to here. Oh shit. And so then, like basically that whole... Yeah, the entire area. So if you're ever going to be hiding up here, you get to hide like all the way in the back. And then also... You can see like pretty far into here. I think right here is where you, the legs would get cut off. And then obviously, if I hide behind these walls, you can't see me from above. Yeah. And then you can see all the way, like you can see everything over here on this side, even into the cigar shop a bit. Like I think about to here. Shit. So skylight's pretty important to hold. And it's very hard for the defenders to shoot back up because obviously all they can see is like a tiny bit of your head. Um, this is the best corner to defend if you're holding up here because if you sit in this corner. 
you can look over towards Cigar Shop, and if you peek out just a tiny bit, you can see like a pixel peek into the staircase. Yeah. There's like a tiny little pixel peek you can hold there. A lot of people will defend here and just hold that pixel peek towards the staircase. Yeah, like, definitely I saw the staircase. Yeah, yeah. This is obviously the bar hallway or the back hallway. Oh, actually, people call it White Hall. Because this is because White Stairs. Yeah. And this goes all the way down to the beginning, where we started. Oh, I almost forgot. Outside cameras. Two. Five, six shots left. Awesome. Come over here. I gotta show you the last camera. I'll be back. Okay. I'll can wait by the camera. Can you shoot it from up here? Yeah, you can. Yeah, okay. School shooter now. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello. And that's it for cameras. I don't think there's anything else I really have to show you. I only have my pistol left. Oh fuck, I had the headshot lined up. That's bullshit. Sure you did. I'm trying to find skills. Yeah. Hey man, it's important. Gaming and skills go hand in hand. Now you can get them to sponsor you for this video. Thank you, Skittles, for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Could you imagine? Use code Drew Peacock for ten percent <laughs> off your next Skittles order. That would be phenomenal, dude. <laughs> Alright, this is Border. I don't know if you've played it. That's a big ass gate, dude. What is a border? This, just so you know, is considered to be the most balanced DLC map out of all of them. One, two, three, four, four. There's four cameras. This is? Dude, two records in a row. Uh, while we're in here, I'll just show you. This is Customs Inspections, or Baggage Claim. The speaker up here. Has, like, that sound. Let's try it. Okay. I'll show you a couple of different sources um, of sound on this Sir, screen. sir. You have been specially selected to try our new program and machine. Okay. If you could just step over here. Sure. I don't want any problems. Okay, thank you. Oh, sir, sir, you're being a nuisance. Nope. I will shoot. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Get on all fours. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what's happening. I really want to kill you just so you can see the kill cam. <laughs> Please, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess we can redo that one. <laughs> We need to we need to start this match over. <laughs> <laughs> you fucker. Again, four cameras. Go. Can you imagine I couldn't find it this time? <laughs> Where's the fourth <laughs> one? I was just like, fuck. Alright, anyway, going through customs B. Two. Ooh, I like this room. One thing you should know, know about why. this room. Up there. The attackers can see in from the roof. Oh, really? Just on that side? Yeah, if you want, you can repel up. You can see up there. I feel like I shouldn't be able to... Oh, 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 going for it. <laughs> Man, I feel so useless in this position, but I like it so much more. It's really rough. Like, most people don't do it. Oh, it, like, changes halfway through. That's fucking weird. Like, people just didn't kind of forget that exists. Or, like, people just try to purpose. avoid doing that at all costs. Oh, you can, like... Yeah. You don't see too much. You can also see, like, up here. In that hallway up there. Yeah. So, like, that's what it's mainly used for. Okay, come back down and resume your camera training. I come, I come. So you've gone two out of four. Okay, oh, wait, bye. What? <laughs> I, 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 man, this is so chump. What? I didn't think the test was that hard, but... It's so fun that everything's destructible. Oh. Yes and no. You'll you'll learn to hate the destruction after a while. Like the unnecessary destruction, like computer monitors and stuff. Yeah. Good job, you got all the cameras. You didn't even see like half the map. <laughs> okay. Well, that's because they're fairly easy. I'll show you the outside ones after. This is offices. Uh, I'm sure I can breach this. Yes. Over Where's here. Over here is another source of sound. Oh, dude, one sec. Oh, 
Uh, that goes into uh, tellers, which I'll show you after. Okay. Oh. So here's another source of sound. These radios. I pulled out. This is tellers. Okay. This is a uh, main hall. This is bathroom. Okay. Really, man. This is a workshop slash server. Most people call it server. And then, uh, yeah. Over here in this room, this is ventilation. It's like a tiny little room. It's mainly, it, this is like a bomb site. This is the only reason why it's actually relevant. Um, in customs, I think you saw this little. Dude, you can put like a lean on your grenade shot. Yeah, you can lean with anything. You can get jiggy with the grenades. Anyways, this is a, I don't know what people really call it, like the little office in customs, customs office. Okay. Back here is like, I actually don't really know what people call this, I usually call it like customs supply area or just back of customs, storage, variety of names, I don't know. This wall here um, is where a lot of attackers will push in if they're coming from valley. It's also the wall that a lot of defenders will hold if they're holding this objective, because for bomb, it's this room, like customs, and then this supply right. room over here. So you want to hold that wall. Like, you can just like look right in. Yeah, exactly. Um, continuing. The only thing, or actually, well, there's this desk here, because it's somewhat important. And then that room, yeah, you just reached into. This is called passport check. I don't really, I've never really heard anyone give calls besides just saying like little. Entrance, main entrance, I don't know what to call it. Side entrance. Okay. Um, and then upstairs. Okay, so wait, these little radios, this one doesn't make any noise, but if you ever see a radio like this, just fucking destroy it. Yeah, that's my jam. Um, and another <laughs> sound source out here. Do you hear that guy announcing stuff? Can you shoot him? Yeah, so, come over where I am. Like the actual dude, or like... No, the speaker. Um, if, you, if you shoot any of those four speakers up there, it like muffles it. He still does it, but it's a lot more muffled. But we can actually like shoot the dude. <laughs> this game's not that fucked. Um, okay, we have to quickly do the rest because we're running out of time. This one's Fountain. This game? Okay. So, offices, and then Fountain's the connecting room. And then this is Archives. This has a hatch that goes down into a uh, workshop slash server. This is lockers. Push in, push in, push in, push in. This is the most popular defense site for both bomb and secure. Um, Dude, they got beer pong tables. This is called small office, or armory office, whatever you want to call it. And a lot of people call this pillbox, this little side part. I always call it a breach because it's the part where most people will breach the wall to push in. My pillbox. I don't know. It's it's just a name that people have been using for oh, a while for like, all these. Like actually breach in here too. Yeah. So like people usually want to breach into there and push in. A lot of defenders like to hide here. I don't really know what to call this. It's blue corner, half wall corner, it's a variety of names, or default corner, and then come over here. Oh wait, this is called sandwich right here. <laughs> Locker sandwich, but there's also that window there, so it's kind of a risky place to hide. Uh, metal detector for the main door. Where'd you go? Where, are you? Where am I? <laughs> Who <laughs> are you? <laughs> this Who is metal detector. I? Main door has a window that goes into a small office. So yeah, and ooh, go ahead. No, I insist. Out here is CCTV, and this is called kitchen. Inside CCTV. This is kitchen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Out here, I'll show you the last thing. Just, all these are like this balcony goes all the way around the map, so people just say like whatever balcony based on where they are. Okay, there's a camera over there, and then there's a camera over here. I right, just see it all from like right. Yeah. You want to get those cameras like as soon as possible because they will, they have a lot of view. And the last right. camera is all the way on the other side of the map. Bam. You can see how this balcony just goes all the way around. Holy fuck, yeah, it does. There's only one other place I have to show you and then continue. There's the last camera. 
That one's really hard to see from west side because the smoke from this car kind of blocks it. Um, this is the wall that breaches into tellers. If they're ever defending tellers, very important wall to breach. Last thing I have to show you before we finish. This is becoming an incredibly important part to hold. Depends on the game, but you can climb up the bus. And then you can hold this like vent over here and you can see into archives. And like when they're holding bomb up here, like it's, you don't want them to get up here because uh, obviously they can just see the really far up there and block off your entrance to archives. Actually, go back towards the bus and go up the ladder, and I'll show you something. So this window, if you break it, like you can see right to the ladder. So some people like to hold this, and just as soon as you climb up the ladder, when you can't do anything, they'll just shoot you as soon as you climb up. Climb up. And you can also like see over towards the vents from here. Okay. And the last map for this uh, video is called Skyscraper. This is one of my favorite DLC maps, but not too too many people like it it is very big oh man i love it um on this map there are one two three four four cameras inside it's a big map i don't know what you are talking about okay go um cameras right uh <laughs> I was wondering if you'd see that. <laughs> oh, dude, no way. You can break it at all. Konishiwa! Yo, I've upset my forefathers. Okay. You already got this map memorized, don't you? No, I didn't make it very far. I played on hard. Uh, I always play it normal. Hard said realistic, so I thought it would be the most realistic. Wait, did you say you thought hard would be the most realistic? Yeah. When there's literally a difficulty called realistic? But the, in the description, hard says it's realistic. So, like, you know? So you have two of the four. This right here is called bar, or most people call it bar. Because you know it's an actual bar. Okay. Already been in here? Nope. Uh, sound source over here. That radio. On some of the DLC maps, for some reason, they changed it to a blue radio instead of a gray one. You did miss like half the map. If you want to go back. Ooh. Where? Over here, over here. You didn't really explore this side of the map. Just keep going. Or just like hold there upstairs. Yeah. This is bedroom. Bedroom hall. Bedroom closet. Bathroom. Dude, oh my god, the bathroom's nice bigger size. than the bedroom. Nice pooper. Nice pooper. Okay. Uh, this way? No. No, no you just looped again. This way. Ah. Uh. I feel like it's gonna take you a long time to find the last one. Hey, come on, man. Oh, dude, what? I heard it. That's the 
radio, yeah. Once you get to the five minute mark, I'll show you it, because uh, I seriously doubt you're going to find it. Hey, thank you. Find it. Try that. Is it upstairs or downstairs? Downstairs. Most people don't see that because like these cameras are literally right next to each other. Okay, important things to show you. Uh, Actually, wait, we'll do outside cameras first because there's stuff outside I want to show you. Outside camera. Have no fucking idea where you are. Tower camera. From here, if you had an ACOG, you'd be able to see it. But it's... Actually, let me get on it. Maybe we'll be able to see it then. Oh, I see it. Do you? Alright, so yeah. Oh. <laughs> you just lie down together. Oh, close. You're barely missing it. There you go. Fucking dink, dude. And then come back. And I felt like a US Army sniper there. <laughs> Crawling through the swamp at a skyscraper. Yeah. And then last camera, That's ventilation. So, important things to know about outside. As an attacker, tower is one of the most popular spawns if the defenders are defending the east side of the map. Because you can come up the tower. And then from here you can see over to T room side, like over there. Obviously with an ACOG it'd be a little easier, but... Hit hit, nudge, nudge. Yeah. And then so here you can also... T room's all the way over there. Like the, that window and door. And then the office, like where we just were, is over here. In these two windows. In front of us. Okay. And then, yeah, it went glass in the terrace. And just like. That's the up. safe way to drop, just so you know. If you drop down from just the balcony, you take like 20 damage. Ooh, so I get you. Um. Anything else? Anything else? Um. Oh, from drum room, you can drop down from above. So that's drum room up there, I'll show you. You can just drop down. So it makes a good flanking route. And also something to keep in mind. Um, over here, I think you didn't see Geisha. This is Geisha room. It goes out onto the balcony if you go this way, so a lot of people reinforce that and try to hold it. Where's all the memoirs? The memoirs of a Geisha? <laughs> So, out here, this is the entire balcony. A lot of people like to do this, where they'll break open this window, and then jump outside and like shoot all the way down here. Try to kill attackers. Something to keep, always keep a mind on. In this is tea room, this is the most popular objective for both bomb and secure. If it's bomb, the other bomb sites in karaoke, over here. A lot of people like to uh, open up this wall here, and then you can just see into the staircase right here. And drop down if you need to. My hole's bigger. Okay. I don't know if that's something to be proud of. And anyways, in <laughs> tea room, there this is called indestructible. Or yellow. Oh yeah. It used to be completely indestructible, like the floor you would not be able to shoot through it, so it was a really good place to hide, but now uh you can destroy it from below, so it's not that good. Did Actually you ever just hidden it? Yeah, most people hide in there still. So I'll show you how to destroy it from below. Um, you're gonna use your ash charges though, just come down here. This is the right side, and then that's the left side. So if you just like shoot your ash charge anywhere up there, you can like see up into it a bit. But like, ideally, I'd do it more right here. Yeah. Or like, you can just jump on this couch and you can see more into it. I definitely need to like shoot through things more often. Yeah. Destruction is obviously a huge component of this game. And then. I don't think so. Let's see, let me think quickly. Oh, this is bathroom. Sometimes a lot of people will hide in here because not everyone drones it out perfectly. If you break the bamboo, you can get even farther in the back. No, I'm totally. When we go upstairs, um, so the between tea and office, so drum room, 
then this is Bamboo Room. Out here is called Dragon. Because of, you know, the dragon. This is Dragon Wall. So if you're holding officers, you want to reinforce that. Um, and then, like, you can also, like, run between here if you want to tea room. This is mainly for attackers. If you're out here as a defender, you're probably going to get caught. And then, oh, another thing to note, this bar. Because a lot of people will repel in this window. And then shoot in. This bar, you shoot through. Like, if I hide here, you can shoot me through. Yeah. Or you can just miss. That was a straight up execution. Sure was. I mean, ignore this, but like you turn around. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just didn't know how to react. Cool. Yeah. Any comments, questions, concerns about those four maps? Mm, no. Okay. Seem pretty straightforward. Then we can move on to the next three.